So this is what I've spent in the last 12 months, y'all. I went viral one time on social media and quit. Welcome to Rich and Fit! Yeah, yeah. When the rich get rich, ain't no fit, get fitter! So what I do for a living is... So look, y'all always asking me how I'm getting all this money, how I'm buying all these cars, how I'm buying all the cribs, how I'm traveling so much. Look, I don't just want to show y'all my money and not teach y'all how to make none of y'all own, bro. So look, I'm partnering with a company called FX2 Funding. What that is, is y'all know I trade. I'm a day trader. Um, it's actually a trading prop firm that gives you money to invest. So if you don't have the money to trade, guess what? That solution is fixed, man. Anything y'all need, we are giving y'all money to trade with, man. So make sure y'all click the link down in the description. I ain't gonna lie. There's gonna be some people watching this video that don't take this opportunity and they're gonna watch somebody else take the opportunity and become a millionaire. So stop just sitting around watching everybody else win. This is your turn to actually win. I'm giving you opportunity. Link is in the bio, man. I'm certified into it. I am a partner of them. I'm not gonna tell, steer y'all wrong, man. So look, if y'all wouldn't really get this money, how we getting this money out here, make sure y'all click the links in my description. Sorry I interrupted y'all video, man. Back to the video, let's get it. Vlog gang, look, I'm back with another video, man. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the vlog, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Glow Gang. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're already in Glow Gang, then what's up? What's up, family? Y'all know we good, man. Look, today, I'm finally filming the video y'all been waiting for, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all been asking me for the video. Mind y'all business about who flowers in there. Damn. Hold on, where my camera? All right, bet. Like I said, mind y'all business about that. But today... I'm finally gonna tell y'all what the kid does for a living to afford my house, to afford the Rolls Royce and other vehicles that are also in motion. One of my cars been in the shop like five months. I damn near say I ain't even got that shit. But kitchen dirty, but as y'all can see, shit look vibed out. Anyway, uh, right now, first and foremost, I'm about to go to Rich and Fit, which is the gym that I go to for the Rich and Fit young niggas. You feel what I'm saying, man? So about to slide Rich and Fit. Um, this the little gym fit for the day. I ain't gonna lie. I went, uh, what I go? I went B22 on the feet, black socks, just because the strings right here black. The white socks really ain't look right with it. But I don't know how the black socks might look goofy too. Let me know in the comments, bro, if y'all wear white or black socks, man. But I think the black socks go in the bag. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know. They ain't look great. H&M joint. They match the uh, B22s, of course. Um, Yeah, so that's the little fit of choice for the day, man. In a real good mood. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little day behind on vlogmas, but uh, the kid really been dropping these bitches. I ain't even participating in vlogmas, y'all. I'm just dropping more consistent videos for y'all because I've been slacking. And that's something I take full accountability for. I been fucking slacking. So all that slacking shit, hmm, done over with. I ain't gonna lie, my air upstairs is, I don't know, that shit too hot. Uh, matter of fact, I gotta go change the temperature upstairs, y'all. I, I got the, so every floor in my house got its own like temperature control. So as y'all see, living room on like 66, right? Then as I go upstairs, I'ma tell y'all that upstairs definitely finna be on some goofy shit like, 75 type shit. Hold on, let me see. Hell yeah, I feel the heat difference right now. Yeah, second bedroom. This not the this not the office setup. The office is gonna be on my first floor. Um uh, bedroom. Big ass 75 inch. I got King, California King bed. It's dirty in here, but y'all know I give it to y'all raw. Pause. Um yeah, this shit on nah, it's on 71 now. Which is still hot as hell. Damn. That shit made me run out of breath, bro. Y'all know bathroom go crazy. We ain't gonna show that shit right now. I might show that after when I come back from the gym. But back down here downstairs we go. I'm finna show y'all where the office finna be at, cause the office finna be fire as hell too. And let me turn my fireplace off. Fireplace buzzing a bit. Hold on. Turn that bitch off. This one of them little fake ass fireplaces, y'all. But I don't care. Shit, a flame is a flame, ain't it? So, yeah, yeah. Now, off to the roads we go. Yeah, I've been daily in the roads because I'm waiting on my other car, everything to get finished up with my other car. So, I've been daily in the roads. What is my perspective on daily driving a Rolls Royce? Not gonna lie. Top tier, 10 out of 10. I can't, I can't say I don't like it, but here is my baby. It's the only thing in the garage right now, as y'all see. But 
not for long. Can have some other shit in here too. And I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know what be fucking me up about this car? Let me let me show y'all what I'm talking about. So look, this right here. This my tow hook cover missing right here to make my car look old as shit. I gotta get a new tow hook cover, but they've been on back order for the last few months, so I haven't been able to get a new tow hook cover for the car, so that is kind of why my little shit be looking kind of that's why my little shit be looking kind of greasy and type old sometimes. I know somebody dropped a comment saying, nigga, Rose look old as fuck. Like, damn, my little bitch look old as fuck. Nah, but let's get the fuck on, y'all. Straight to the gym, we slide two. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, we're tired from out there walking. Oh, yeah, y'all comment and let me know if y'all cool with my videos. Oh, yeah, you know they open the other way. Comment and let me know if y'all cool with me just running my videos straight through. Like, I be giving y'all the parts. Like, I used to clip them shits up, but now I'm just trying to just drop the full video for y'all and not give it too many cuts and edits. So y'all can feel like, because y'all family, bro, y'all here with me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is this my ties. Like, y'all right here with me type shit. Uh, let the door close itself after me, sir. Damn, slow closing that door. Cool, we in here, though. Get a cold start in. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I heard that motherfucker. Let's see what my phone doing all this vibrating for y'all. Hold up. My boy Ty and my girl texted me. All right, y'all, quick DM check. All that shit Gucci. So, oh, I got to turn up the stars and shit. Stars ain't even turned up in this bit. Turn all this shit up. Boy, you tweaking. Oh, look. All right, bet. I had to turn the brightness of all my shit up. Feel what I'm saying? Let me zoom out so y'all can kind of. All right, y'all look. Look, interior shot tight. As y'all see, got the whole world right there. Got my uh, shit up there. What that say? Big boy Rafe. Know what I'm saying? Y'all know the vibe, man. Y'all know that baby come trim every single time. Oh, I like this too. So y'all, the temperature control in the car. This is for like the top one right here. This is for like my upper body. Then this for my lower body. So if I want my my lower body, you know, warmer and shit like that. And this cool too. So you didn't see I can turn the air off on my side. I can also turn the air off on this side. So it is off on this side. And then same with the back seat. Back seat got their own controls for each side too. So this car, this car really got, you know, different. I like that how the uh, temperature control go every which way, man. But I'm about to slide off to the gym. I really don't want my camera and shit to be sliding off right here. So I'm going to slide to the gym. And we're going to pick this shit up when I pull up at Rich and Fit, y'all. Let's ride. Mike and stay on. We always oh, yeah, we lit. Say, so, y'all, obviously, I just pulled up to Rich and Fit, man. Yeah. This, listen, how you feeling, Kelly? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. She, she listen. Said, she said, see it, touch it, obtain it. Y'all know I was see doing it, the video. See it, touch it, obtain it. Listen, I said, come on. I mean, I'm about to get the matching ones. Oh, we matching. Starting back to back. We starting the club. Ooh. Who mad? Nobody Ooh. but the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome to Rich and Fit, when the rich get richer, and the fit get fitter! Yeah, I don't know if y'all can tell, man. I almost died in here. I ain't gonna fake kick. God damn it, kill him! Hey, sometimes the rich and fit, that's what you're at, the rich and fit way. When you almost died, that's all right. You gotta come back and rise like the phoenix. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta die to be alive. Come on, we gotta die. He gotta say, don't do it. Don't do it! We gotta die to get the head. <laughs> we got to die to get to heaven. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Seven times we get up eight. Get I must tell y'all the truth. I can't even hold my camera up. And we ain't even lift shit. Look, we are at the car wash now, as y'all can see. Getting the Rafe washed up, man. Um, Chop it up with y'all for a second today. Um, yo. 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 Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Yeah. Um, but yeah, y'all, like I said. Workout went crazy, crazy. I ain't gonna hold y'all niggas is tired now. I don't feel like doing nothing, but work don't stop. Put my glasses on real quick, y'all. Hold up. Boom. <clears throat> so, I ain't gonna lie. I always get my car wash like in the city. Cause every time I get my car wash like outside the city type shit, it never be good. Like they always fucking my shit up. So I bring it to one specific place every single time. And they never failed me, y'all. Uh, it's obviously right now it ain't clean. It's still red as hell right at the moment. But say, you say it's 
going to be clean. If it's not, it's gonna be clean. That was lucky my thumbnail right there if y'all peep that shit too. Uh what else they got, a, they got like the electronic BMW. That shit kinda that shit kinda hard. Nigga on the gas station and get some chapstick too. My lips dry as shit, y'all. Know what that's about, but say it is what it is, man. Um really a lot of shit I be figuring out, bro. A lot of y'all glow gang, I just want y'all to be some winners, dog. Like, there's so many fucking losers out here, so many haters and shit. Like, you see what I got going on, motherfucker. I be seeing people in the comments talking about some goddamn me. Uh, his rose is old and uh, it's all type of dumb shit, y'all. But I mean, what you expect, bro? What's up, bro? Can I get a CarMax? Hold on. So y'all look, you know it's crazy. I'm at the car wash, right? And he, this guy just walked up to me and he was like, "What's up, Justin?" So I already knew he knew who I was. Um, he said, my name's Justin too, and we were just talking. I think he's an actor and shit like that too. But that's just me telling y'all like the power of networking and shit. So I'm finna chop it up with him. Uh, I'm gonna chop it up with him, with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So just to give y'all some of that inside game. This is the only car watch that really watches my car the right way, y'all. I was just telling him how we had the same name. I was like, that's yep. crazy how energy worked. I was like, I could just tell when he walked up, I said, What's up, man? I feel like I knew him already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, dope. Absolutely. So, y'all, he said he's in acting and film. Wait, you like record too, or you just acting wise? Just acting, yep. Where is yep. How, how did you get into that? Man, uh, I went to school for pre med. So, I was in mm. college and wanted to become a doctor. Started learning. My mom passed away my junior year of college. Sorry about that. It just made me question life if I wanted to become a doctor, six figures of debt, possibly. And that's true. You know, I started learning about health and wellness, and I didn't really, I wasn't sure if I actually wanted to pursue that. So, you didn't have a passion for it? I had a passion for medicine and health, but I wanted to help people understand that they could heal themselves without pharmaceuticals and that much. That's a fact. Yeah. And the bunch of drugs go behind it. That's so crazy, y'all, how he just said he was going pre med. Is, it's crazy to go from pre med to acting and me i did the same thing i was in for i went to college for like engineering um and finance yep. and i dropped out my sophomore year just because like the same thing i said all right i could be in debt and i'm gonna be in the same amount of debt which i'm gonna make a year which is crazy and i said then i'm gonna stay to go to work for eight to ten hours a day and then your field you'll be at work longer than that yep. you feel me and i was like is it really worth it then i'm like okay i understand i understand it's something i can do that i actually love to make a lot more and still have my free time guess what if we had jobs the truth of the matter is, y'all, we wouldn't be right here having this conversation right You're now. Right. A car wash on a, what day do we get? It's, it's Monday. It's, mo it's right. a Monday, uh, yep. Exactly. Getting a car wash on a Monday at 10 o'clock, that's unheard of. Yeah. So it's like, I say life is way too short to be, I, I don't, the life expectancy is what, 79? Yeah, yeah, something best. like that, yeah. So give or take. And that's crazy for me to give 65 years, I think that's when you get retirement. Yeah. Give 65 years of it to someone else to help them fund their dream and then enjoy the rest of my life. By that time, my legs hurt, my arms hurt, I'm on a bunch of different medications. I can't enjoy Rolls Royces and shit like that at that point in my life, but I feel like, you know, the route we took is the right route, which is more risky, y'all. Don't uh, Listen, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. I say that all the time. You're right. It's not for everybody. I say if you like the comfort, if you like stability, keep a job. Yep. But if you find with being a risk taker, me, I love taking risks. So what works for me may not work for you. I'm willing to put all this shit online. I do it all the time. I don't care. You the same way? Absolutely. Absolutely. So y'all that want to be entrepreneurs and see the lifestyle that come with it, understand all the glamorous shit, all the good, there's a lot more bad than there is good. I'm gonna tell you the truth. That's just the way it goes. You're gonna take more L's than W's, but I'm fine with that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, entrepreneurship, you gotta take risks. You yeah. gotta take risks to, to become an entrepreneur. You have to put your ideas and thought there, thoughts out there and yep. they might not always land with people, but you have to keep, perse keep persevering until it becomes reality. That's a fact. Yep. And I tell you all the time, people say, do you have goals in place and shit like that? or plans anytime i've set a goal that shit never went according to plan anytime i set a plan it never went according to the plan so i really don't plan i'm a free spirit y'all i don't like all that planning a lot of people say they write down their goals and write down and have this big road map and shit on their wall i don't got that that's just me personally i'm not saying you have to have it I'm not saying you do or don't but i just don't that's what worked for me but that's just my little drop a game for y'all today be back y'all so look my guy he was over there I saw him, he took pictures of the roads and whatnot, and then he came over here to chop it up. You feel what I'm saying? So you say you do what now, bro? I'm a chef. Uh-huh. And I have an LLC. Uh-huh. I have three LLCs under one umbrella. Uh-huh. Which I call that a baby fortune 500 baby shark. I'm our chef from McDonald's. Got it. Y'all, so look, we was talking about, he said he wants to be a fortune 500 company. It's what I had to tell him. 
I was like, no, you got to speak it into existence. You got to power tongue is crazy. Yes. You got to say, I am going to be. I am be. going to be. There we go. A baby shark Fortune 500. There we go. You will see. Come on. Power the tongue. Come on. This man right here, he make it happen. Come on. He makes it happen. It's the proof in the pudding. That's a fact. It's you the proof in it. the pudding. You cannot fake it. This man, when he say he does, he does it. And it makes sure it get done. They got to get done, brother. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. So look. I'm finally back at the crib, had to eat my Chick-fil-A. Y'all was hungry as fuck. Tell me why I went and got this damn screen protector, right? I got this screen protector like uh, less than an hour ago. See, it's already cracked up and shit. Like, shit already cracked. Like, bro, what the fuck, bro? That shit just blew me, man. But let's go to the car and talk about what the fuck it is that Lil Glow do for a living, man. I know it's about that time. Chop it up. I ain't never disclosed this information with nobody. Oh, look at AP. But I don't need to disclose the info, but I feel like it's about time. Enough of y'all to ask me to tell y'all what the fuck it is that I do for a living. So get what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell y'all what the fuck it is that I do for a living, bro. Um, so needless to say, let's go out to the car and chop it up. I'm gonna bring my shades to y'all. Uh these little throw chica bonnet motherfuckers. Shit, finna stab myself. All right, y'all. I need a fucking haircut. That's that's the that's the truth. Like, fuck what I do for a living. Lil Glow need a haircut. So if anybody want to donate a couple dollars for Lil Glow and his haircut front foundation, so I can get my little haircut, please let me know. Cause, cause god damn. So now the question comes. Let's get in the car and talk about what it is the fuck that I do for a living to afford my. <laughs> My baby, you feel what I'm saying, twin? Got to. Matter of fact, I need to go clothes shopping today, too, y'all. So, let's do it. All right. I ain't even gonna go clothes shopping this shit. I'm finna go get a shower and shit first. Um, gotta get my, get my life together before I do all that shit. Pull this out in the sun a little bit. There we go, I guess. They don't even need to be out. I can keep it in the garage for real. Shit look cool. Alright, y'all. So look. This is what everybody has been asking me for the longest, bro. Um, everybody's been asking what it is that I do for a living. Oh, my car right here too. I needed that. So, if y'all don't know, man, I am 24 years old now. I just turned 24 a few days ago. I know I'm still holding on to the title. I know I'm still holding on to the title of being 23, bro. But let me give y'all my background, a little bit of my story, where I come from. So I am 24 years old, right? I was born and raised in Little Rock, Arkansas. If y'all know anything about Little Rock, Arkansas, that's the middle of nowhere. It ain't shit going on, right? It's a real slow, everybody, uh, it ain't shit going on there, y'all. I didn't see no Rolls Royces um, when I grew up. My first time seeing a Rolls Royce, I was 14. I came to Atlanta and I saw this exact car. First time I ever saw a Rolls Royce in person. So from that moment on, that became my dream car. That was the dream car, right? Still is the dream car. Still a dream to have it, right? Um, but I understood, at that moment, I understood your environment is everything. I used to always question, why is it that I see Lamborghinis and Bentleys and Rolls Royces in Atlanta, but I don't see them in Arkansas when I'm growing up? Only thing I see is, like, people are happy making $50,000 a year. There, that's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? See, just on, if you're happy with that, cool. But it's like people are fine with $50,000 a year. They're so closed-minded there. And me personally, I'm not built for that shit, y'all. It's just not me. It's not for me. It never will be for me, right? Um, but I I actually my first job I worked at my first job was what? Y'all, I think my first job was Gap, I wanna say. I never did food. My first job, like on paper, W two type job was Gap. But um i had always worked on cars with my dad and my uncle owned like a um he built houses and shit so i used to help him when i was a kid but my first job on my own um was a gap factory outlet so it was like y'all know gap right i think i was making like 9.25 an hour little shit like that. i used to be happy as hell to work i used to work like eight hour days be tired as fuck work two weeks to get a check to six seven hundred dollars y'all like it's crazy to me right now looking back i'm like damn i really that was me i was that person you feel what i'm saying but you know then from there i went to tommy hill figure i was making actually less but I, I could say i worked at tommy hill figure that was dumb i took a pay cut but i could say i was working at tommy hill figure right um so working at tommy hill figure then 
quit there y'all know i love cars that's always been my that's always been an inspiration and i got a job as a lot porter which that means i was at a dealership moving cars around and shit like that right i was moving cars around and shit at the subaru dealership that's when i learned to drive a manual i'm gonna go get me a manual z06 too y'all gonna see that in the next few videos um but i'm moving cars around and shit for i think about the same amount of money like nine ten maybe ten eleven dollars an hour i was basically like the little do boy whatever the managers needed i do it like i me and me and my boy rod like my right hand man my brother we used to have to go he was a porter too we used to have to fucking go move people cars we used to have to go to the managers houses and take their dogs out and go pick up lunch for them and shit like real they, we was we was they bitch like just truth be told um but what that did that planted the seeds for me so when i first moved to atlanta i moved to atlanta i just jumped out and moved to atlanta in 2019 so i was 19 when i moved to atlanta right i moved here by myself but i had help from my mom my grandma right um but when it was all said and done after i got my first apartment which my first apartment was in buckhead because i used to work at mercedes-benz of buckhead as a service advisor right um funny story i'm gonna get into that too i'm, I'm gonna give y'all what i do but i want to give y'all the whole timeline so look um i'm uh, all right, so I went on LinkedIn. Mind you, I'm still living in Arkansas, and I'm still uh, I'm in college at the time, and I'm still a lot porter moving cars at the dealership. But I went on LinkedIn. I created a LinkedIn account because um, I visited Atlanta like a year or something before, and I had drove past the Mercedes Benz of Buckhead dealership and manifestations, everything, just like I manifested this car. Y'all heard me say six months ago that I would get the car, and I got it. I manifested and said I'm gonna work at that dealership. I drove past the Mercedes Benz of Buckhead dealership, and I said I'm gonna work there, y'all. So. Of course, uh, I'm, I'm, I put it in my head. I planted the seed, and I'm getting online. I, I got fed up. I said, I got to get the fuck up out of Arkansas, bro. So I'm looking online, and I'm trying to see if they got any job positions open, and they, they don't. They didn't at the time, and it's also a black-owned dealership, too, so that was another perk. But um, I'm looking online, trying to see if they got, like, fucking, you know, any positions online. They didn't. But guess what I did, y'all? Here goes, here goes some game. This is what I did. I went on LinkedIn, right? I went on LinkedIn, created my profile, made it look good. I figured out who the general manager was. I found his LinkedIn and I sent him a message. I told him, "Hey, I'm I'm 19. I'm in Arkansas right now. I'm a lot porter. Um, and I knew I, I knew what I wanted. I knew I wanted to be a service advisor. I said, "Are you guys hiring for any service advisors? Um, I'm I'm planning to move down shortly, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. He said, "I'll send your information to the service manager." Service manager reached out to me, Brian Washington. I love him to death, right? Um, Got to call him too to talk to him. But um, Brian Washington, he called me and he was like, we chopped it up over the phone, told him I was in Arkansas. Matter of fact, I didn't even know. I didn't tell him I was in Arkansas because I didn't want to ruin my chances of getting a job because I'm not there right now, right? Um, he said, I think it was, we talked on, on Monday. He said, can you be here Wednesday for an interview? I said, yes. Y'all, I got $300 in my name, but I said, yes. I just took the leap, right? So I'm like, fuck, yeah, I'll do it, whatever. More of the story is I drove down there. I had an Infiniti G, a 2008 Infiniti G37 Coupe at the time, and it had a bubble on the tire. If y'all know what a bubble on the tire is, y'all seen the tire, the sidewall, got a big-ass bulge popping out? That was me. I drove that car eight hours, bro. If I would have blew that tire, I didn't have no money to fix it. Feel what I'm saying? I had no money to fix it. Feel what I'm saying? But I drove down there. I did the interview. It went great. Um, stayed the night. Uh, a friend of mine let me crash with her in Atlanta. Um, but then I woke up and drove back. You know what I'm saying? By the time my last fill up came, when I had to do my last fill up on my car, bro, y'all know your debit card. I think I had like twenty dollars left in my account after taking this risk, y'all. I had to fill my car up. That put my account in the negatives. But I was fine with that. I'm getting back. I'm thinking in my head that he gonna call me again and be like, "You got the job. Uh, you can start X Y Z." No, he called me on like the following Monday. I did the interview on Wednesday. I think he called me on the following Monday and was like. We loved it. Uh, he's like, yeah, I loved it, man. I told it to all the managers. He said, now we got to do the panel interview. Can you come back Wednesday for the panel interview? Y'all, I don't got no fucking money left. I said, yes. I said, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll be there. I took that risk. You feel what I'm saying? I jumped off the porch and said, fuck it. Yeah, I'll be there. Told my mom. This time, my mom came down with me. She drove her car. Thank God for her. Um, she got a hotel room for the night. Went. I crushed the interview. Um, at this point, mind you, I'm doing all this, and I don't even know if I'll get the job, y'all. That's how important risk-taking is. That was did, that risk I took is the reason I'm in Atlanta, y'all. If I would have never took that risk, who knows where I would be. But I took the risk. He told me I got the job. I remember it like yesterday. It was, no, it was October 28th. He told me, can you start November 4th? Mind you, that's a week. I said yes. Now it's time to... Nah, this time get a crib all the above y'all i'm telling y'all i worked overtime i worked overtime i was cutting grass i was washing cars i was doing everything i could do i found the cheapest apartment 
close enough to where I was working because I didn't know Atlanta at the time. So I was like, I just need to live somewhere close to where I work. It was four minutes away. <laughs> Easy. Um, but yeah, y'all, so it was like four minutes away. I, the apartment, I never forget, it's called Arbor Gates in Buckhead. They still, if y'all moving to Atlanta, it's in Buckhead. I do recommend it. It's really nice. Um, it only is like, you know, it's right in the center of Buckhead. It's right now, I looked it up last week. It's $1,100 a month. So that's just free game. Somebody want to move um, to Atlanta, right? But after everything was said and done, my mom came down and helped me move in. My dad and all that too. Um, after it was all said and done, y'all had two hundred dollars left in my name until payday. Mind you, I got this job, and I was I was I felt like I was walking on eggshells. I knew he was taking a risk hiring a nineteen year old to be a service advisor, which is a six figure job, right? Salary plus commission. And I, I never asked how much I was getting paid, y'all. I didn't care. I just was like, I'm sure whatever I'm getting paid is gonna be enough. I, it's got to be enough. To fucking to, to live right so i never knew how much i was getting paid so two weeks went by i lived out 200 dollars ramen noodles i had some groceries in there i lived out 200 dollars for two weeks without knowing when i'm getting paid how much i'm getting paid nothing i just took the risk out my first check right hand to god my first check after two weeks of training was four thousand dollars i that was that blew my mind y'all so that like i took that risk and it worked so then i was making you know i was making about eight thousand dollars a month from that job um and i stayed there for about a year and a half i went viral one time on social media and quit but mind you the whole time i've been practicing trading and day trading since like 2017 i've been researching it um but as far as really taking it seriously all right we get into what i do now y'all um so what i do for a living is <laughs> y'all i'm a day trader right i trade i'm a day trader the cat's out the bag man i, I trade i trade forex and I trade options. So I trade Forex and options. I'm a day trader. That is what I do. Um, the internet is just what I do for fun. But for the most part, I am a day trader. Um, I'm co-owner of a sports betting check, Goat Sports, with um, my boy Goat Vic. Um, all the links are down in the description. descriptions too. Like, if y'all want to trade with me, link in the description. You can start with lowest $10. Link is in the description. Um, my sports betting chat, we tell y'all exactly where to put y'all money. All the links is in the description for the sports betting chat, y'all. Um, I have ebooks. I do digital products. So my ebook link in the description. Um, mentorships, you know what I'm saying? Somebody want like a 30 day mentorship with me, it's like 5,000, but they get an in person meetup with me too. Um, I do promos on Instagram, like the videos I do interviewing people. If y'all familiar with my Instagram, I do those videos. Those are $15,000 a pop. Um, real estate investments. Um, I, yeah, I do all type of shit. That's just the gist, but I bring in uh, easily over six figures a month. You feel what I'm saying? I'll show y'all this. What I'm gonna show y'all. I look, so this is what I've spent in the last 12 months. Y'all. y'all right i've spent as y'all see right there this is live in my app y'all i've spent four hundred and two thousand. that's that's just my play around account too i got different accounts but that's just my little play around my little bullshit account um just for living and whatever else like just to play around with right um yeah so there's that that's kind of a sums up what i do of course i do youtube um TikTok, I got Facebook, Facebook pay the most. Um Instagram, I do all the social media platforms as well. Um shit, that's I buy and sell cars sometimes. I shit, I just get money all around, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is really what I do, but my main bread and butter is day trading. So I know that yeah, y'all always want to know what it is that I do for a living. I hope this video was very informational. I hope this shit motivated somebody. And I hope all of y'all go click the links in the description and get y'all some money with me. Cause I just wanna see y'all win, bro. I'm alright, I'm doing my shit. Only thing I wanna do is help somebody else win nowadays, y'all. So that's it for what Lil Glow does for a living. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Glow Gang, make sure y'all drop a comment if this video was good as hell. Please drop a comment. To the next video, man. We out. <laughs> that was dope.